Yeah. See these panels down here? It looks like a round. Oops! It looks like a round pen. So I'm thinking about using those for our in our barn. We are at the. Oh my gosh! Oh, it's so We're at the tax store. Uh, uh, we are looking. Yeah, that's nice. That is perfect for us. That is nice. Uh, anyway, we're here to get stuff for our farm. Something specific, and I'll show you. This one they had more online though. They have more online? Did large. Oh. I mean it's cute. I like the traditional kind better. Mm. Okay, perfect. Um, those in the box there at the Oh, <laughs> we yeah. never would have found them. Still black. Oh. Yeah. Alright, those are perfect. Yeah, yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. Oh look at these though. So this is what you would they're heavy duty. You'd put your your halter and stuff on or your lead rope and stuff on um the ones that we bought for our bar now they are break. so cheap and they broke so well, these are the ones that i was looking at and they're pretty good yeah they're nice i mean i thought they'd be black i have to get bigger screws though because but they're cute screws. i like them what are these ones we have these we bought the oh these are water bottle water, water hooks yeah, yeah. Oh, okay <laughs> these are heavy they have this kind too two-way lockable gate latch. This is what we need for the chicken coop. All right, so we got what we needed. Sophie should. they said they only have one. Oh, and they have like six, seven. All right, so $32 for them fly masks that we got. These just have patterns on them. Yeah, he's noisy. <laughs> So this is actually what I want. The only thing is, is that I'd have to have like six of them because our horses wouldn't be good at sharing. But, so this is what I want to get. It would like allow them to eat with their head down. It would um, be like a, a slow net. I, I really want one of those. But yeah. So do you wonder how that works? Sure, show us how it works. I have an idea. I've seen a lot of them online. All she does, and she's left this here with me just to see how some people. Oh, so this one is something. This is all she does. This is what her baby is. Is this? So I, she I also like makes it. a square, a, a big one, like not for a round bill, but it's for squares. So that just pops down, okay. and then this comes out, and she says that horses don't have fingers, so she does that, that pops back in, and then that drops down, so they can't open it. And the bigger version is just like that. So does this? So it just comes up like this. Oh, so I you, when, you, when you yeah, I know. I love it. So this is my problem with them because this I, I'm looking at these. Like we're looking at these, but my problem is this: when you have six horses, how does it work? You need like a big, huge one. I know. That's what I'm saying. So I need six of them. You're only going to feed two horses if you're going to if you're going to feed that because yeah. there's not enough room in there. I know. So I know. The big square ones are yeah. going to be the one that you want. Yeah, because all of the ones that I find of these are this size. I can't find big, huge ones. Well, just contact them. Out in the field, right, or something like that. This one attaches to the wall. Attached to the wall. Yeah, that's, yeah, what, that's what it's meant to do is attach to the wall. She's, she's even got supports. Yeah. Yeah. Um, See, that's wow. why if Amazing you get like, she does if you get like two or three of these. Then they're all gonna eat from one. Yeah. And what I like about it is it's got the slow feed net over top of it, which is so helpful. Yeah. So Sam is thinking about getting panels like this and using these for our like area where we want to do a communal stall instead of like the, the, the fencing that we have there right now. So we haven't, we skipped the barn, doing chores in the barn yesterday because we are at a bit of a standstill. We need stuff to finish. So uh, today, wow, that's gross. Today we got the hooks for the barn doors. I love them. Absolutely love them. I like that they're metal. I thought I wanted black, but I like that they're silver. They're really cute. So Sam is going to use our electric fence to build Chino and Willow's area. And the reason he's doing that is because we don't know what we want to do. He's building this temporary. So he's going to use the electric fence for this. Um, 
he did find a guy that will come and put holes in for a fence if this is what we decide to do but there's so many things that we need to be here for to figure out what we want, like what we really want. So remember how I was working like my butt off trying to get all the hay out of this section? We got everything off the walls over there. I've been cleaning cobwebs, but the hay on the ground proved to be such a difficult thing. I ended up using like a grass, grass rake to get it all up. More than one person suggested I use a broom and sweep it. And I'm like, that is not gonna work. But more than one person suggested it, so we're gonna try it out. My phone died. Your phone died? You were talking to Elizabeth and Take your phone? Zara. All right, come on, Zara. We are gonna figure out. I don't think this is the right broom. It's the only one I could find right now. But we're gonna figure out if we can sweep this hay off the sand. It worked. Whoever would have thought it. <laughs> Whoever would have thought it. Not only does it work, it kind of cleans up the dirt a little bit. That's incredible. So somebody said that I should save this stuff, which I am gonna save it, and use it for like the chickens or something. I don't know exactly how I would use it for the chickens, but I'm open to suggestions and I'm gonna keep it just in case something, some inspiration. Uh, pops into my head. Still cleaning up hay from this room. I, every time I think I'm done, I'm not. Anyway, I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna head over to the other barn because I know that there are more goat hay feeders around the property and we might end up using those. Let me explain. Mmm, it smells good in here. Whoa, whoa. Tripping all over the place. There's birds in here. Okay, so uh, we went to the tech store and they had this really nice slow feed hay bin, which I love and it's what I really wanna use. They're really expensive and they're never big enough to service like six horses. So I'd have to buy like five of them or four of them at least because not all of our horses like to share. And that's the thing about when you feed from a round bale Sometimes horses get chased away or they get left out and I don't want any of our horses to get left out ever. So I need to find a way to feed our horses on the sand and outside as a group without putting the hay on the ground. I prefer the hay to go on the ground because it's more natural for them to stretch their neck down but they can't eat on the ground in the arena, in the barn because that sand is awful. Even though I like the sand because I know they're gonna love it to lay down in and, to, and for their feet. It's terrible sand for eating on. I don't know where to find the lights. Oh, right here. I actually really like this barn, you guys. I like rustic old barns. I don't know where the other lights are. <laughs> I only, See, maybe we need new light switches. Maybe we need new light bulbs. Sam will come down here and work magic with the light bulbs. So even though I like those boxes a lot and we're probably gonna get some, we're gonna talk to the lady that runs that company that makes them. I love them, like absolutely love them. They're not gonna be perfect for us. They're not gonna, they're not gonna work for all of our horses, but we have options. So in this stall, this is a nice stall. Uh, they have this kind of feeder, which I'm sure we could take off and move upstairs. Yep, easily. But they have this kind of a feeder. And it goes down to the ground, like it goes pretty low. We have one, two, three, four. We have four of those. Five. All right, so, oh, and then, then a small one right there. So we have six of those. Hey, it's creepy in here, you guys. <laughs> So we have six of those, or, oh, there's a hose. I should take that hose up and use it where we haven't brought over our hoses yet, so it could be useful. But we have five of those, we have six of those, which we could make work. I like them. We could make them work. But I swear I saw more of those goat feeders. Those goat feeders, which are more portable, and we wouldn't have to relocate them. 
I could use those depending on how many we have. I'm not convinced about them. I think I should close this barn up. Oh, I forgot to turn off the lights. Oh, there's another one of those outside. That would be so great to hang in Chino's stall. That would be so great to put in Chino's stall. One outside. But I really believe, I really think I saw more of those goat feeders. Aha. Uh -huh. I knew I saw more. So here's another one here. It's tinier, it's smaller. Might work for the minis. The field here, and then there's another field on the other side. And they're actually quite big. This field that I'm in right now is huge too and perfect for goats. Honestly though, walking around this farm is exhausting. Oh, this is, it's almost too big. One of the fields uh, that is attached to the horse barn and it has this run-in area as well. This is another field and then there's another, then there's another field in there. So technically there's like another five fields that we haven't, that we don't show in our videos every day. This would be perfect for somebody who needed to like rent a horse barn and had a bunch of horses because there's seven stalls in that barn. I just don't see us using it. You like the duck better this time? Well, cause that one. She's a little nervous. She'll come around. She is she really friendly. She just needs friendly. to settle in. She's just, she wanders away. And this one wanders towards me. So we should put this around the pool so that we can take them out there every day and put them around the pool. Why are we going to go in the meantime? Sam is also well, getting- Well, this staying inside with me. Sam is also getting Sophie's swing set up um, yeah, before the grandkids get here. Yeah, that's a little high. <laughs> Aww. He You're so cute. Those are. Comment below what you guys think we should do in terms of feeding. We have to figure out something. The horses are coming home very, very soon. Hi, we? We're gonna finish up. Um, we have a lot going on right now, but we're gonna finish up this week all the all the chores that have to get done before they can move over into the barn. I'm gonna go and clean off, clean out the stalls, like all the little nails and stuff that I see. But if you were in our position, what would you do? Would you A, go for A, the feeders with the nets that are really cool, really expensive, but wouldn't feed all of our horses? Two, go for the goat feeders that we removed from that barn. We have two of them, at least two of them. I didn't see any others, but I have, didn't go all the way around the whole property. They're not perfect because the horses, because it's not super low on the ground, but it's also not super high, like some other feeders that I've seen, or like hay bags. Maybe it's the same as hay bags. Um, but we already have them and we only have two, so it would probably feed our girls okay. See me walk around like this. See, would you use those um, feeders that we have in the in the in the horse barn stalls? Would you take those and move those over? Maybe move a couple of those over and feed your horses on with those. Or D, would you use hay bags? Because we also have hay bags. We'd have to ha hang them. They're a little more dangerous than the others because of the string and stuff. And I don't really want to use them, but I would if I had to. What would you do? What would you guys do if you were in our exact position? Don't you know that you're beautiful?